So, went to the beer store today, actually just the LCBO, uh, for those who aren't in Ontario, that's the Liquor Control Board of Ontario store, um, and was looking for another beer, I just decided to try different beers for some s stupid reason, and I found something really different. This is New Grist Gluten-Free. Made with sorghum, S O R G H U M, and rice. A crisp, refreshing alcoholic beverage. I I'm just going to call this rice beer, okay? I really don't know what to expect here. Probably not going to chug this one like I have the other ones. Uh, it's gluten free, which, like, uh, alright. Well, I suppose if it's made with rice, it doesn't have gluten in it. So, let's see. At the end of the cap. It smells like, I'm not sure what it smells like. Let's see what it looks like. It looks more like a... It's more like a cider than a beer. Um, really hard to describe what it smells like. It almost smells like a wine. But then again, I saw <coughs> rice and was automatically thinking of uh, sake, but uh, it doesn't smell like sake. As I said, I don't think I'm going to chug this one. Slightly flavored water. Really, not terribly impressed. Um, Five point seven percent. Eh, well, let's just get it over with. Ugh. Not much aftertaste to speak of. Oh wait, there we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, boy, I suck at doing these reviews. Uh, it doesn't taste like beer. It doesn't taste like... Take... A white wine and mix it with beer. That's kind of the flavor of it. Except it's exact it's exactly like that. But not quite. How did they put it in the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? It tastes almost entirely, but not quite it tastes uh, what is it? Not quite, but entirely it's not quite entirely unlike beer. I don't think I'll get this again. No. The other two I that I've done, yes, but that? No. Definitely not recommended. However, gluten-free, so if you're allergic to gluten, give it a try, I guess, but why?